Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. God bless you. God bless you. This is Elder Melvina Carpenter with True Light Healing and Deliverance Ministries by way of Goose Creek, South Carolina. The pastor is none other than Elder Melvin Wright, along with Evangelist Kathy Wright. Um, we thank the Lord as well for Minister Willie Carpenter. We pay homage to our sister churches, Rock of Truth, with Bishop Ronald Anderson and Lady Shirley Anderson. Uh, you hope ministries with pastor aletha scott mallory based out of atlanta georgia and kingdom citizens uh, ministries in liberia africa we thank the lord for you 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 and especially you want to jump right into the word of the lord on today we have a full day ahead of, ahead of us so uh, we thank you for your prayers in advance and of course we are praying for you as well want to jump right into the word our topic on this morning is go and get it. You ought to tell somebody in your house, go and get it. Everything that the Lord promised you, today is the day, now is the time, this is the year to go and to get it. Turn with me in your Bibles, if you will, to Jeremiah chapter 29. Jeremiah chapter 29, verses 8 through 13. Jeremiah chapter 29. Verses 8 through 13, I'll be coming from the English standard, English standard Version of the Bible. English Standard Version of the Bible. That's where I'll be coming from. Go and get it. And it reads, For thus says the Lord of hosts, the God of Israel, Do not let your prophets and diviners who are among you deceive you, and do not listen to the dreams that they dream. For it is a lie that they are prophesying to you in my name. I did not send them, declares the Lord. For thus says the Lord, when 70 years are completed for Babylon, I will visit you. And I will fulfill to you my promise and bring you back to this place. Verse 11 is Evangelist writes a uh, favorite scripture. It says, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for your welfare and not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you will call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. Amen. Our topic on this morning is go and get it. Go and get it. Whatever your it is, I want to encourage your hearts this morning to let you know that the Father has already equipped you. <laughs> he has already given you everything that you need, everything that you desire. He has already empowered you to go and get what belongs to you. Are you hearing me this morning? Whatever your dreams are, whatever your goals are, whether it's your healing, come on, whether it's salvation, deliverance, uh, the gift of speaking in tongues, whatever your it is, come on, a house, a car, a job, a promotion on the job, more money. The, the Father has already given you what you need to go and get it. I was working with a client on uh, yesterday. Saturday and uh, I was talking to her about uh, the Lord and his promises and I was sharing with her that sometimes we feel as if God has isn't has not heard us and then he'll do something that uh, we've asked him to do that was so small and it'll happen so quickly that we have no choice but to sit back and say oh, God you heard me you heard me after all and I'm here to tell you this morning that God heard you after all and everything that he has promised you, he is giving you the go ahead today, glory be to God, to get up and possess it. And But the problem is that we do not walk in Timothy. We do not walk uh, without the spirit of fear sometimes. Uh, and without a, a stable mind, come on, and without love. And, and so fear tends to grip the heart and make us feel as if we cannot go after it. But he says right here, you don't need to go to the psychic. 
You don't need to go to the palm reader. Come on. You don't need to have nobody on in Facebook on your inbox, inboxing you to, to give you a reading or nothing because they send some negative energy around you. The devil is a whole lie. Come on, when they come at me with that foolishness, they get blocked immediately. Come on, because he said in Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, trust in the Lord with how much of your heart? All of it. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all thy ways, acknowledge the Lord and he would direct your path. He never instructed us to, to acknowledge a palm reader, to acknowledge a psychic, to acknowledge a medium, to acknowledge any of those things. And, and sometimes you may feel desperate, like you need answers and you're not getting it from the people in the church. Come on. Who am I talking to this morning? Who am I helping? And so you want to seek out other sources. Glory be to God. But he's reminded us right here in his word, not to seek out those sources. He already knows the thoughts that he thinks towards you, sister. He already knows the thoughts that he thinks towards you, my brother, thoughts of good and not of evil to give you an expected end. Don't listen to false prophets. Come on. Don't listen to di to diviners or some may, some may say diviners. Don't listen to those people. Come on. Because the Lord says, I did not send them. You want to hear the voice of the person that the Lord has sent to you. Come on, not to your neighbor, not to your friend, but to you. And this morning, the Lord is talking to you and he's telling you today that I've equipped you, my daughter. I've equipped you, my son, that the things that you know that I've promised you, those things that you have in your vision that you just want so bad. And you're like, Lord, when is it going to happen? I, I, he needs you to step out on faith and go and get it. What are you waiting on? What are you waiting? You waiting on the prophet to tap you on the shoulder and say, ta, 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 ta. The Lord says, no, ain't no ta, 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 ta. It's written in plain English right here. Go and possess the land. That's what he's saying to you today. Go and get your stuff. Go and get your job. Come on, go and get your raise. Go and get your promotion. Come on. They, they already advertised it. Go ahead and apply for it. Go ahead and get the loan. Go ahead and get the new vehicle. Go and get it. Glory be to God. Go and get it. He says right here, for I know the plans that I think that I think towards you uh, for your welfare, not for evil, to give you a future and a hope. Then you'll call upon me and pray to me and I'll hear you. You'll seek me when you seek me with. Come on, Proverbs three, five through six. Not part of your heart, but with all of your heart. Last Sunday, we talked about praying three times a day. Uh, and I pray that you all have been on that. Uh, we have been praying three times a day in my household. And let me tell you something, the Lord has met us there. He has met us in that place. And I am so grateful to the Lord for meeting us. I know that the Lord has heard us. I know that the Lord is moving on our behalf. He is working behind the scenes on our behalf. Come on, I, let me encourage your heart this morning. He's He heard you and he's working for you. Come on, He's he's moving moving some things around. Come on. Angels are being dispatched on your behalf. Somebody say, even now, even now, even now, glory be to God. And I hear somebody say, even me, Lord, even me, glory be to God. While you're passing out blessings to everybody else, even me, even you can go and get it. I don't care what you've done. I don't care what you've said. When you've repented before the Lord, when you've submitted your life to him, when you've received salvation, glory be to God, when you become a son of God, and that that uh, scripture, son of God, stands for male and female. It means mature person in Christ, mature person in the Lord. When you become a son of God, a son of God, you can go and get it. You have new DNA, new blood running through your vein. You can go and get it. Glory be to God. He says, go and go. He says, I know the plans that I think towards you. Declares the Lord plans for your welfare, not for evil. You'll call upon me and come and pray to me and I will hear you. I've been praying. I've been praying before Sunday. Of course, you know that. But this, this week, those praying three times a day has been a blessing to me. I've been in the face of the Lord. I've cried. Come on. I've, I've hollered. I've gotten upset. I've, I've done all everything, but guess what? I was in his face though. 
I was telling him what I need. I was telling him what I want. Let me tell you something. You sitting here scared and frantic and not wanting to go and get your stuff. The Lord has already planned out your life. You, you might be in the middle of your book. Come on. You, you're not at the end just yet. You've already experienced the beginning of your book, the book of your life, and it's still being written. But I promise you, you remember when we were in school and we read those uh, nursery rhymes and at the end it said happily ever after. Baby, if you live right, come on. Song says heaven belongs to you. If you do what you're supposed to do, come on. You maintain your relationship and your fellowship with the Lord. I promise you it's going to say happily ever after they lived happily ever after because he knows the thoughts that he thinks towards you thoughts of good and not of evil and he told us in psalms i will withhold no good thing from them who walk up right before me what is it the good thing what is the good thing that you're asking the lord for today come on what is the good thing that you're pursuing after him? What was the good thing that you were going before him and prayer for three times a day this week? Glory be to God. And if you didn't get to do it, that's all right, sis. Today is a new day. You can pick up right now. As soon as the broadcast is over, you can go ahead and start your three times a day prayer and you can complete it this week. It is a new day and we have new mercies. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But he wants you to know that he has good things laid up for for you and that thing that you are asking him for that thing that you are praying about and you're saying lord when is it going to be my turn when is it going to be my time and he's telling you the time is now get up and go and get it go on the computer and apply for it come on trust me says the lord we have to trust him and can i be honest with you this morning trusting god is not always easy oh god let me tell you something who am I talking to? Who am I helping? Trusting God can be very difficult. Glory be to God. It can be hard, especially when you're sitting there saying, but Lord, it's been a minute. It's been a long time since I've been asking you for this thing now and I don't see it. And you telling me to trust you again. You, you telling me to hold on again because you're coming. I'm looking for you, but I don't see you. Come on. I'm listening for you, but I don't hear you. That's all right. You keep on looking to the hills from which cometh your help. Come on, Psalms 121. Your help cometh from the Lord who made heaven and earth. He made the heavens and the earth. Do you think that that thing that you're asking him for, he is incapable of giving it to you. He can give you that and more. He is able to, to do exceedingly and abundantly even more than what you can ask for or think to cleanse the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's saying to you this morning, I have good, I have plans for you, good stuff for you. And when you come to me and you pray to me, says the Lord. When you come to me with your whole heart, I'll deliver for you. We've got to believe that. We've got to hold on to that, that the Lord will deliver for us. He will come through for us. Turn with me in your Bibles to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter one. Deuteronomy chapter one. Deuteronomy one and eight. Glory be to God. It says, see, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land. Did you hear what he said? He said, see, see means understand, look, behold. See, I have set the land before you. Go in and take possession of the land that the Lord swore to your fathers, to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob, to give to them and to their offspring after them. Your grandmama and them might not have seen it. They may not have received the promise. Glory be to God. Your uncle and them may have missed the mark. Hallelujah. But God has set the land aside for you. Come on. He set the promise aside for you. All you've got to do is put on your shoes and go and get it. 
This is the season that we are in. This is the time that we are in. Go and get it. Come on, right now we are we are dealing with the possibility of a war. Glory be to God. I hope that you are praying during your prayer time for Ukraine. I hope that you are calling out their names and praying for the people who have lost loved ones just a few days ago. Hallelujah. But on the flip side, while you're praying for them on the flip side, he has set some things before you. You've got to go and get it. You've got to go and possess it. Why? Because it's yours. It belongs to you. Somebody say that. It belongs to me. Yeah, go ahead and uncover yourself. It belongs to me. Come on. Healing belongs to me. A peace of mind, it belongs to me. Come on. Rest at night, it belongs to me. Laughter and joy, it belongs to me. Glory be to God. Living in the house of my dreams, it belongs to me. My dream career, it belongs to me. The car that I want to drive, it belongs to me. Come on, you're single and you desire to be married, it belongs to you. It belongs to you. The salvation of my children, the salvation of my siblings, the sal excuse me, the salvation of my nieces and nephews. It belongs to me. He promised this to me. So I'm holding on to the promise. I'm holding on to his word. Glory be to God, because he is not a man that he should lie. And neither is he the son of man that he should repent because he said it. He has no choice but to bring it to pass. What has the Lord promised you? Come on. Go back into your mind. Go back into your memory bank. What has the Lord promised you that you're still looking for? Glory be to God that you gave up on. You don't need to give up on the promises of God. That's what the enemy wants. I told you last week that he wants you to quit, but you better not quit. You better hang in there. You better hold on because the promises of God are yea and amen in him because he said it. He has no choice but to bring it to pass. He has no choice but to, but to make it happen for you. He has no choice but to deliver for you. There is no need to fret and worry and be upset. There is no need. God is going to do what he said he would do. The Lord has done. Come on, you know the song. Somebody sing it so much for me. He's opened doors. Come on. He's done it already that I could not see. The Lord has promised. His word is true. Some say, I'm going to keep on trusting for his word is true. But it ends with, for the Lord has done, already done what he said he would do. You don't need to be discouraged on this morning. Lift up your head. Lift up your head, O ye gates. Be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors, because the King of glory is already here. We're not waiting on him to come in. He's already here. He's already here. <laughs> He's already here. He said, I said it before you. You think you were scrolling and, and you got that email from Indeed about the job and you just happened to see it? You just happened to. Go and get it. You think it just happened to get that flyer in the mail about that vehicle? Go and get it. Come on. You think you just happened to hear them talking about the position that's coming up on the job at the, at the water cooler, at the coffee machine? Honey, go and get it. The problem is in the body of Christ, we lack, we, we lack confidence. We have all this confidence in God. We have all this confidence in our church. We have all this confidence in our, in our leaders, but we lack confidence in the most important person other than God. And that's ourselves. We don't feel good enough. We don't feel confident enough. We don't feel like it, we're good enough for it. We don't feel like we can have it. And I'm here to tell you this morning, you can have it. Who is it? Jacqueline Carr that sung the song? If you want it, you can have it. If you need it, you can have it. It's yours. Yours. Somebody ought to break off in a praise break right there. <laughs> 
I can hear the hammering and the keyboard in my ear. It's yours, sis. It's yours, my brother. You can, if you want it, you can have it. If it lines up with the will of God for your life, if he's made you the promise, you can have it. You can have that education. You can have that degree. Go and get it. But we give up so quickly. We give up so easily. He laid it out for us. And when it don't work one way, we just walk away from it and say, well, I guess it wasn't God's will. Maybe it wasn't God's will with that person or with that particular thing or with that organization or at that time. But I dare you to go back and try again. Oh, I know I'm blessing somebody this morning. I dare you to go back and try again because he said, go and get it. He said, go and get it. Go and get it. That's what he said. Jeremiah, Deuteronomy. I still want to go to Jeremiah. Deuteronomy. And I'm almost done. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verses 1 through 9. There was something that I wanted. Well, I'm going to just tell y'all the story. Most of you should, most of you have probably seen the flyer of me teaching on uh, Facebook. Um, it was posted on Friday night. And um, it's been a strong desire of mine to teach. And in 2021, March of 2021, I became licensed through the state of South Carolina to teach. And even in getting that license, after taking the class, it took me forever to take the test. I think it was maybe almost two years before I went and actually took the test for the state to, to pass the test. That's an approximation. And so I passed the test and the, I took the test, I believe it was 14 days after my brother passed away. And so when I took the test and passed the test, I was in there hollering and screaming and crying, didn't care who I disturbed while they was taking their test. I was having a very selfish moment. I'm being honest because I didn't think I was going to pass the test, but I had already paid for it. I'm like, let me just go and trust God. I got before the test and I'm like, Lord, most of these things. I even study. I don't remember ring study studying. And when I would click and answer, the Holy Spirit would say no. Click C, click A, click B. Y'all, he walked me through the test. And so I got licensed. And so we fast forward to a year later, now 2022. And there was um, a school that opened and I saw the application pop up on my social media. And I said, no, I'm not going to apply. I started to apply, clicked on it, started filling it out, deleted my information. I'm like, no, I'm not going to apply. They know all these other instructors. You know, she's worked on a collegiate level. What is she going to do with me? Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I'm educated. Yeah, I have a master's degree, but no, it's an, I'm not going to apply. And then she called me. Found. Then she called me after I did apply a couple days later. And she said, if you didn't call me, I was going to call you and offer you a position. But see, I forgot. We've got to remember. I'm, I'm, I'm praying that this helps somebody. I had forgotten, y'all, that a month ago, maybe two months ago, I was praying. And I said, Lord, it is my desire to teach on a collegiate level. I said, and... I need you to fix it to where somebody hears of Melvina and they come to Melvina and say, I heard about you. I want you to come and work with me. And that's exactly what happened. And so after the conversation with her, I had to remember the Lord brought back to my remembrance what I said to him in prayer. And I only prayed it one time, never mentioned it again, left it alone. And here we are. It fell in my lap. And just as easily as it fell in my lap, God wants you to know this morning that it can fall in your lap just as easily. He has great things for you. But remember what Jeremiah says. When you seek me with your whole heart, when you call upon me, I'll answer you. Come on. When you seek him with your whole, whole heart, Revelation 3 and 8 says, I'll set before you an open door. 
He says, I have set. It's already done. I have set before you an open door that no man can shut. You just got to go and walk through it. You just got to go and get it. You got to get over yourself. You got to get past your fear. Come on. You got to get past your fear. You got to get past your self-doubt. Come on, we self-sabotage. I've talked about this before. We self-sabotage where we, we come against our own self and we speak against ourselves and we say that we're, we're not good enough and what we can't do. I'm here to tell you this morning, you can do it. All things are possible for those who believe. All of it is possible for those who believe. Deuteronomy 28 says, 28 and 1 says, and if you faithfully, not sometimes, but if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth and all these blessings shall come upon you and do what? Overtake you. If you obey the voice of the Lord, your God, blessed shall you be where in the city, blessed shall you be in the field, blessed shall the fruit of your womb, blessed shall be the fruit of your womb and the fruit of your ground and the fruit of your cattle, the increase of your herds, the young of your flock, blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl, blessed shall you be when you come in and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies. Who got some enemies? <laughs> the Lord will cause your enemies. Glory be to God. Who rise against you to be defeated where? Not behind you. Not on the side of you. Come on. But he says, before you, he will, the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to, to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you said it. Melvina didn't say it. The word of the Lord say it, said it. They shall flee before you seven ways. They'll come at you one way and flee seven. That's why you don't need to be sweating your enemies. That's why you don't need to be worried about your enemies. You don't need to be worried about what they're saying or what they're doing against you. Baby, when you are in the face of God, I ain't talking about no foreign God. I'm not talking about Baal. I'm not talking about Muhammad. I'm not talking about Confucius. I'm not talking about no idols. When you are before Yahweh, when you are before Yah, when you are before Elohim, when you are before El Shaddai, when you are before Adonai, come on, there's nothing that he won't do for you when you stay in the face of God. When you stay in his face. He said, I'll cause your enemy to come at you one way and leave seven. Our God don't play about us. <laughs> My God don't play about me. He don't play about me. He don't play about my family. He don't play about you. He says, verse eight says, the Lord will command the blessing on you in your barns and all that you undertake and he will bless you in the land that the Lord, your God is what giving you. He's given you some stuff. Now he's given you some stuff. He's telling you it's there. You just got to go and get it. You just got to go and get it. That's all you have to do. I'm going to finish the scripture, but this week I had to go and pick up a check from someone and I'd never dealt with this person before. And so I was a little bit nervous. Like, am I going to have to wait a long time when I get there? Is it going to be ready? So I'm calling, 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 and they're not answering the phones. So I called my husband and I'm like, do I just go pick up the check? Like, how does this work? He was like, yeah, it should be ready. So Finally, they called me back while I was in the midst of getting dressed. And he said, yes, ma'am, you know, I'll have the check ready for you. You can come on down and get it. And so when I got there, <clears throat> it, it took maybe 10 minutes and I had my check in my hand and I was able to walk out the door. And I said all of that to say this, uh, when you know that God has something for you, you can't let fear come on. 
You can't let fear build up in your heart to say, well, God, I, I know that it's coming, but is it ready for me right now? Can I tell you a secret? Can I tell you a secret? It's ready for you right now. It's ready for you right now. Somebody say that right now. It's ready for you right now. If you don't have the money, God will give you the favor, but it's ready for you right now. If Come on, if you have the money, but you need favor, God will still give you the favor. It's ready for you right now. Whatever you need, come on. It, God don't have it. He's released it to you. You just have to go and get it. You got to go and pick it up and stop questioning. Is it ready yet? Is it going to be ready? Am I going to have to wait? Just go and get it. Just show up. That's the problem. We don't want to show up. We want everything to be brought to us, everything to be delivered to us. Get up and show up. Go get it. Go and get it. He says here, excuse me, a little nasally, says the Lord will command the blessings on you in your barns and all that you undertake. He will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. That the Lord, that in the land that the Lord your God is giving you, not going to give, that he is giving you. I-N-G is present tense. Where my teacher's at. I-N-G is present tense. He's giving you, not going to give, not, not, not doing it later. It's right now that he is giving you. Verse nine says, the Lord will establish you as a people, holy to himself as he has sworn to you if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. You can't cuss in one segment and then, oh yeah, I'm praying, I'm talking to the Lord. No, sis, you gotta keep all of his ways. You can't be around here talking about getting drunk and then, oh yeah, I'm seeking the Lord. No, sis, all, all. <laughs> you, you've got to give him your whole heart. All of it. And you, you hot, cold, lukewarm, you get, you get spat out. You're, he's going to spit you out. Wants nothing to do with you. You got to choose today whom you're going to serve. Make your choice. Walk in that choice so you can go and get your stuff. Not by might. Not by power, but by his spirit, says the Lord. You can go and get it. Stop letting the enemy make you feel like you can't have it. You can have it. The neighborhood that I lived in, I used to drive through and say, gosh, that's such a nice neighborhood. Those people must really have money over there. And now here I am in the neighborhood that I drove through all the time. Never imagined that this is where I would be. And God gets all of the glory. When I, when the realtor brought us here to buy this house, I remember me and my husband looking at each other like, why are we back here? What was she doing? But here we are, almost eight years later. Because what God has for you, you know the song, it is for you. And no devil in hell can stop it. No witch's brew can, can hold it up. Come on. <laughs> no, no palm reader can cast the spell and, 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 and put it on the back burner when it's for you, it's for you right now. Go and get it. I want this message to put fire up under you today. I want it to put fire up under you this week. Come on, go ahead and finish school. Go ahead and do it. Go ahead and get that, that doctorates behind your name. Go ahead and get that masters behind your name. Come on, go ahead. You, you want to learn something new. You want to accomplish a new task. Go ahead and accomplish it because you can go and get it. Let me tell you something. We want to blame everything on the devil. And sometimes the devil has nothing to do with you not having your stuff. The only person that's holding you up is you. Nobody is holding you up, but you. Because you talk yourself out of what God is saying you can have. He's saying you can have it. But you talk yourself out of it. 
You want the building for your business? Go get the building. It's yours. He owns the cattle on a, on a thousand hill. He owns all of the land. He created the land. He created the sky. You mean to tell me he can't give you four walls? <laughs> if you want it, you can have it. But the thing is, do you want it? How? Pass the preaching message. How bad do you want it? You got to want it bad enough to go and get it. Go after it. I'm not out of teaching. I'm just out of time. I hope that you have fire up under you. Today, go get it. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get it. Go and get holiness. Go and get righteousness. You you craving, you, you want to speak in tongues, you say, but you haven't received the gift of the Holy Ghost. Go in your bathroom. Go in your bedroom. Shut the door. Put on your worship music. And tell the Lord what you want. And don't jump up off your knees so fast. You sit and you wait on him. And let him fill you with the Holy Ghost. I got I got filled with the with the gift of the Holy Ghost in my parents' bathroom at the age of 15 years old. Because God did it for me, I know that he can do it for you. Whatever it is that you want. And it lines up with his with his will. Go and get it. Now, what's not in his will, and I'm going to close for real, is somebody else's stuff. You can't go and get somebody else's husband. And I, I know I shouldn't have to say it, but we got to make it plain in 2022. You can't go and get somebody else's wife. You can't go and get somebody else's child. You can't go and get somebody else's house, car, job. Don't be stealing their promotion from under them. Don't be stealing the, the, the deal. Don't be playing with numbers on the job, working behind the scenes, and you, you know you're not getting them numbers the honest way, but you're doing some stuff behind the scenes to get it. Don't, don't do that. Because, see, we're giving him our whole heart. And when we give him our whole heart, we walk in integrity. And integrity is doing the right thing when nobody is looking. He's empowered you to go and get it, whatever your it is. Believe God for it. Go and get it by faith. Not out of teaching, just out of time. Please remember that uh, tomorrow is the last day of February, and we have been celebrating Evangelist Kathy Wright all month long, all month long. And so if you have not had the opportunity to sow into her life, you may do so at her cash app and I am putting it on the screen for evangelist, right? Uh, feel free to sew into her and uh, there is her cash app. Uh, go ahead and, and write that down real quick. Bertha 510. So into her, I'm sorry. So into her, so into her life. You are sewing on good grounds for her birthday. Um, and also, if you would like to give to the ministry on today, we appreciate your gifts. We appreciate your tithes. Once again, you are sewing on good grounds. This is the Givelify app. And I will put this in the comments as well. You just click on the link, follow the steps, and you can give whatever amount you want. There is no amount that's too small, and there is no amount that is too large. Please remember to join us on tomorrow morning for our 5.30 a.m. prayer. And uh, the Lord is moving in such a major way in our prayer time, and we are so grateful to him. We're so grateful to the Lord for his visitation with us, for him living with us. For, for Psalms 91, we dwell in the secret place of the Most High God. Glory be to God. We dwell in that place. That is that is where we reside. That is where we live. And we admonish you to do the same thing. Three times a day is not too much. And, you know, and, and when I pay attention to my day, I find that I'm praying way more than three times a day. I talk to the Lord when I don't even realize I'm talking to the Lord, uh, but that's a good thing. I'd rather talk to him than people because he is my problem solver. Man can hardly do anything for me, but God can do everything for me. I love you with the love of Christ. I pray that you have a tremendously blessed week. God bless you. Stay prayerful. Go and get it. God bless you. I love you.